Hello, and welcome to Moscato and Tea. This is the show for all things beauty, business, and community with your host, Inez and Chiquita, keeping it raw, real, and unfiltered. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Hello there. How are you? Good. How are you doing? How how you doing? I be doing good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you ready for this episode? I am very, very ready. Me too. Very excited because I'm very interested in the products. Well, I, I use the products. So, I know, that's, I, so I'm super excited to be able to introduce you know, introduce because, you know, hair is always such a big thing. Everybody wants to know about hair. She always gets, hair, yeah, hair. she gets on me about my hair. So this is okay. So we're not even going to talk about your hair today. But <laughs> Tyra's here to help uh, to help us out. As a matter of fact, I'm glad she's here because we're going to talk about a little wig. We're going to talk about little sentience. We're going to talk about all of that stuff. Get okay. it going. So with that said, yes. let's introduce our lovely guest. Go ahead, introduce, introduce yourself. yourself. <laughs> oh, we do it here out here. Yeah. You, you at home now, girl. Yeah. Introduce this yourself. Ain't fancy. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tara Guillaume. Hello. Tara. Hello. Welcome to yes. 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're Thank excited you. to have you here. I'm excited to be here. Yes. Fun time. So I met you uh, like a year ago, year and a half ago through our mutual friend Tiffany um, at her... Um, uh, it was Thanksgiving or something like that. Yeah, yes. I think it was. Uh, yeah, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Like, that was like two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah, oh, right. it's been that long. Wow, yeah, I think so. Dang. I was just about like. Thanksgiving is coming around the corner, yeah. so because I wasn't there last, I I didn't do I worked last year, so oh, this year, yeah. so it was like two years almost. Two going years on three. Been, Girl. Wow, yeah. wow, time it's flies. Been a long time. Yes, Big yes. Time. And you, so we, you've been doing since that time. I'm sorry, yeah. you know, I, I like to take control. No, go ahead, go ahead. She, <laughs> so she's all about so hair. I was like so, within that time, you've done some things. Yes, yes, I have. <laughs> all right. So tell us about what you've been doing, Tyra. Well, I launched my company, Weft Bar. It's a hair extensions brand for the woman who always slays, and she comes to us to keep it going. Okay. Okay. Hello. Yeah. I get compliments on my hair. She's not questioning how she looks. Oh. She's just wanting to reinforce. Oh, this is your brand for you. Listen. <laughs> it's so it's so perfect. We mm-hmm. our hair takes you from 100 to badass. Oh, that's oh, there oh, we oh. go. There we go. That's, you about to be a badass bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> I can't stand her. I already am one. You know, I got my hair. I got my. We about to take you to the next level. You are a man. Yeah, it's a this this brand is for mm-hmm. the woman who has a down for anything attitude about mm-hmm. her fashion, mm. her her makeup, mm. her lifestyle. Okay, and so Wef Bar just fits perfectly right in. Mm-hmm. We have everything from. The halo, which literally takes like five minutes mm-hmm. to pull on and seconds to pull off, mm-hmm. but stays there when you need it to be there. Ooh. There you go. You can blow in the wind with your top yeah. down like a convertible. <laughs> exactly. Hair is going to still be there. Exactly. And if he's pulling, stair- hair is going to still be there. Still be there. I love it. Hey, <laughs> let's keep it 100. Oh, my hey, God. This Very is, important. Hey, this is important stuff. You know, <laughs> yes. women don't want to wear because they talk about men yeah. this, men that. Hey, this hair, you can pull on it yeah. and it stay in place. Exactly. Keep it going. Oh, my exactly. God. Exactly. What made made you decide to start uh, your company? Well, I relocated back to L.A. from New York. I'd been living there for several years, and I had a short haircut. Mm -hmm. New York City is about individual style. doesn't really matter whether you look good or not. Mm -hmm. Um, L.A. is more about looking good and fitting in. Mm -hmm. And so I recognized that my short hair wasn't going to really get me anywhere. Mm -hmm. Fast. Mm -hmm. Let's say that. (laughs) It would get me somewhere. Yes. Just not fast. Um, So I decided to grow my hair out, but I just didn't feel like having everybody Mm -hmm. experience my in-between look during that time. So I saw on a commercial uh, secret extensions, Mm -hmm. and those are like halo extensions, Mm -hmm. But and I wanted to order some, Mm -hmm. but they didn't come in my texture. That's a problem. Mm. Because I'm a la- I'm a lazy hairstylist. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if I have to do too much, mm-hmm. then that means I'm doing too much. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm one of those people. I don't want to have to do a lot. Okay. Exactly. Cheers to that. Because yes. that's the truth. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you need th- mm-hmm. Ch- Chiquita. You won. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Make it, make it easy. <laughs> so I decided to make halo extensions mm-hmm. in eight different textures. Nice. That way it went for, you know, for the woman who has silky straight hair all mm-hmm. the way to the woman who has kinky coily. Ooh. What I discovered, though, 
as I was experiencing mm-hmm. this, is that maybe Kinky Coily in the Halo isn't mm-hmm. that great. Well, then I came up with clippings. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I had a little something going on at that mm-hmm. time. So I was like, okay, I can put in these clippings and, oh, what? No one can tell? I didn't care if anybody approached me and asked me if I had extensions mm-hmm. in because I'm willing to share that with them. Yeah, that's but I too. also like the fact that it looked natural enough where people actually didn't question my mm-hmm. hair. That's what we've been I talking get that about. a lot. Yeah. Like people always just assume it's my hair. And then I'll be like, oh, your hair. I was like, oh, you mean these extensions? Mm-hmm. Shut up. You got extensions? I said yes. And as a matter of fact, you need to go see my girl. Tiffany Renee and she used and then they're like your hair. I go, I get my hair from Wef Bar because mm-hmm. it's 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 one of those things that um, you see women out there with hair extensions or we, you can see it from yeah. a mile away. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was gonna say. What's the di- uh, you how know, do you, especially when you see people like selling online the Instagram people that are selling hair and all that stuff, and it's like, are you really getting real like? Remember, people, correct hair. You like, what to look for, for? Yes, and always okay. another thing is remember you pay for what you get for. Mm-hmm. So if you paying thirty dollars for your hair, it's gonna look like thirty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I put money into my hair mm-hmm. because I want people to say, "I thought it was yours." Well, thank you. That's mm-hmm. the whole point of it. But I don't mind you asking. So you exactly know, talk about how you um, like Chiquita yeah. said came up with that, and you know you. Just your whole concept of it all. Mm -hmm. Well, so what I noticed, the biggest difference in um, trying to buy hair extensions is, A, for women of color, specifically women who have heavily textured hair, Mm -hmm. we only have maybe one or two options for wearing extensions. As a matter of fact, we only call it a weave, Mm -hmm. even when we're talking about something else like a ponytail. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a weave ponytail? Right. Mm -hmm. They're extensions. Um and I realized that it's because we only have one or two options. Mm-hmm. You either braid it in or you sew it in. And so I wanted to come up with a variety of different ways to apply the hair, um, the extensions. Also, coming up with or offering more than one or two mm-hmm. hair textures really makes a difference. Mm-hmm. One of the popular, most popular hair textures for Black women specifically mm-hmm. happens to be um, Silky Body Wave. Mm-hmm. One of the reasons why is because you can straighten it mm-hmm. <clears throat> and it'll still have some body, mm-hmm. but you can, if you choose to wear it natural and it will be wavy. The problem I had with that for myself is that my natural hair isn't like that. So now I'm putting stress on my hair to make it blend with my extensions. Mm-hmm. Right. And the whole reason why I'm wearing the extensions it's is to the, grow my hair out. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So yes. defeats the purpose. Yes. <clears throat> So I figured if I got textures that were closer to or kind of mimicked at least our body when we choose to straighten our hair, mm-hmm. um, whether chemically or, or um, with a comb, hot comb or flat iron, or if you choose to wear it naturally, I figured if I got um, textures that mimic those textures, mm-hmm. then you're in a better position. So for the girl who's like, oh, I get my hair relaxed, mm-hmm. but I want to I want to grow it longer. I still want to stay with the chemical relax. I am mad at you. Mm-hmm. Do what you like. Right. <laughs> um, then I have that texture for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want to you want to do kinky curly. You want to do your natural hair. I got that texture for you. Yeah, you have up. I think you <coughs> even have up to like what they call now the like a C curl. Yeah, as yeah, a matter of fact, yeah, she has. I got yeah, show and tell. Yeah, yes, she has. Oh, yes. So here, so I go all the way from silky straight okay. to kinky coily, and kinky coily is like your uh, your four B texture. Okay, like, and then the kinky curly is more like a a mix between like a four A. Okay. And a, like a 3B or 3C. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because the realities are, if I get you t- um, textures that are a lot closer to a lot of different hair, A, mm-hmm. that's way too many options. So now right. you don't know what to buy. Yeah, right. Um, but B, you have to care for the the extensions the same way you'd care for your hair. Mm-hmm. And hello, didn't I just say I wanted these extensions yes. to ease off? Yes. Right. Yes. <clears throat> so, again... I appreciate the woman who's willing to put that kind of time yeah, and effort don't. into, <laughs> some, you know. You're the perfect client. I'm not the one. So I'm assuming you're not the yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, not. I'm not. So, yeah. So we have all these different textures. I mean, you can get beach wave, mm-hmm. which actually. I think that's what I got. Is beach what wave. lovely okay. square. Right? Yes, yes. I got beach wave. So when, it, when I wet it, because my okay. hair is actually naturally wavy. So when I wet it. Mm-hmm. It looks like wavy, but okay. I usually just straighten it only because mm-hmm. it's just easier for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but 
I love it. I mm-hmm. like I say, I go I go places people have no idea. I mean, as a matter of fact, if I just saw Tara, she goes, Your hair, I was like, Girl, I'm wearing your product. <laughs> She's like, I couldn't even tell. I said, mm-hmm. Perfect. Yeah. If you you know, it's your product and you're telling me you can't tell that mm-hmm. then you created something mm-hmm. amazing. And I think people Thank need you. to real re- realize that um, there are options out there for you yes. and that there is good quality hair. You, it's like anything you do. I still don't understand that. But, OK, if you're going to spend a thousand dollars, you know, on, you can spend a thousand dollars on a Gucci bag mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or you could spend a hundred dollars on a fake Gucci bag. Mm-hmm. So why not spend the thousand dollars on the Gucci bag mm-hmm. and keep it and know it's going to last you? Then you know you're gonna have to replace that hundred dollar mm-hmm. fake one all the time. So exactly. it's the same thing with the hair. I spend money on my hair. Mm-hmm. It, it you know I understand it's a budget or whatever, but at the end of the day, I've gone through. I've done. Um, I did with also with Tyra. I did the sew in, and I also did which was the, the micro beaded the weft. Micro, yes, okay. the micro beaded weft. Mm-hmm. I did that one too. Boy, that was a good one too. I was like, girl, I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just like, I love the fact that there's versatility here, yeah. and I know someone who got some clip ins because mm-hmm. they saw my hair and was like, yo, I need to get. So they got clip ins. They went to their stylist, mm-hmm. got it highlighted, did everything. You put the clip ins. You can't even tell her Same. husband who doesn't like. "Quote unquote mm-hmm. fake hair or nothing." Saw her come through. Was like, "Yo, your hair look bomb." Mm-hmm. What exactly. you do? And she that's said, the point. And all she said was like, "Oh, I just had a little highlight <laughs> and did whatever." He wasn't even mad. And then yeah, she's like, "Later on, was like, these are clippings." He's like, "Yo, you know what? I love those because I can't even tell that mm-hmm. they don't belong to you." And Perfect. that's that's Perfect. the trick. Mm-hmm. Like the issue with men. And those intimate times, <laughs> girl. Usually, usually that happens as a result of a him not being prepped. Because <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. You wasn't ready. I, I, I don't know about you, ladies, but I need to let folks know. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Hair's freshly done. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't don't touch my. Don't it's, it's not even about that. Just hair. the head is a little tender. Yeah. yeah. You know, head a little tender for the braided. Even if he can't relate to that, because I can't expect every man to understand yeah, that. That's true. You know, I'm that's an equal true. opportunity lover, so <laughs> I can't assume, you know, I can't. Jordan Lee understands <laughs> what's going on underneath. So, what I do is I just let them know, like, mm-hmm. listen, we could do sexily must. Mm-hmm. We can, you know, p- <laughs> post loving. You know, you know yeah. all, I, we, we're, we're all yeah. for that. But yanking mm-hmm. and yeah. things like that, that's, a no. that's why we have ears. We have <laughs> thumbs to grip. There are many different ways for us to maneuver all that. And having said that, when you're intimate, mm-hmm. your guy's not really going to know. He's mm-hmm. loving the fact that the hair spread out <laughs> or that it's moving or that it's doing all kinds yes. of things to indicate yes. like, oh, she's enjoying herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. Everything else yeah. in the wash. Yeah. So mm, mm, mm. the hair just blends really nicely, mm-hmm. especially if you pick the right texture yes. to match your hair. So you have choices. Mm-hmm. You can be that person who chooses to get a texture that matches mm-hmm. your hair and how it functions or whatever. Or you can be different mm-hmm. um, and get it where it doesn't match your texture as long as you're willing to put in the work. Mm-hmm. Right. But the great thing about the extensions is that the quality of the hair is so good it that is. if it sheds, I'd be surprised. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm surprised when someone comes mm-hmm. to me and says, oh, it shed a lot. Like, mm-hmm. hmm, okay, that's surprising. Did you mm-hmm. cut? Yeah. I did. Yeah. Okay, that's why. That's yeah. why, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I dye mine. Mm-hmm. I highlight it. I cut it. So it, it actually, for me, it, it lets me know it actually acts like natural, real mm-hmm. hair. Exactly. I go, I was telling Tiffany, <clears throat> I was out and about, and it was um, misty outside. Girl, I came back in looking, poof. I was yeah. like, what the? I was like, oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> it's acting like real hair. Yeah. Because, you know, you go out there and it's misty. Your hair don't looks like, mm-hmm. you know, oh, she got we've known. Mm-hmm. Mom, look, I was like, I literally need to take and put it in a bun mm-hmm. because it was going into its natural texture, which I love. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's and that is key. Also, it lasts a long time. Mm-hmm. So you're not spending money to mm-hmm. have hair for maybe one installation. Mm-hmm. This is hair, depending on how well you take care of it mm-hmm. um, and how often you wear it, it can last you for up to a year, depending on if you process it or whatever. Mm-hmm. All, all the hair comes unprocessed in terms of um, hair color. Obviously, to get the texture, there's a mm-hmm. little bit of processing. It's, there isn't a chemical process um, that goes along with it, so you're not getting a fishy smell and all that mm-hmm. shenanigans. Mm-hmm. Um 
And uh, as a the, matter, yeah, as a matter of fact, when I opened up my bag, I was like, "Oh shit, it smelled good!" Mm-hmm. Like it was in like one of those like ooh, you yeah, know, kind of thing um, at all. So I agree nice. with that. Yeah, and so we, you know, we try to provide. Yeah, perfect. As a uh, businesswoman, mm-hmm. black businesswoman, how do you feel in the industry? How I you know, know I'm black? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I may be you, tanned. You no, I'm, I'm just saying. Go ahead. So sorry. Megan Kelly up in here <laughs> as a woman. <laughs> As a woman <laughs> in business, <laughs> business woman, you know, because we talk a lot about being business owners and how you get started and, you know, in the industry, I know in the beauty industry and everything, how it's very limited and like support from each other and stuff like that. When you came out with your product, how did you how was that support from the community, the hair extension community and everything? Well, shockingly, and I shouldn't say shockingly, but it is shocking. Mm-hmm. Um, very supportive in the okay. sense that I came to the table saying like, for example, to Tiffany, and I say this mm-hmm. to other hairstylists and salons, I'm not trying to compete with you. Mm-hmm. If you'd like to have your own brand, mm-hmm. I can make that happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you'd like to just offer what we offer mm-hmm. as a choice, I can make that happen for you. Um, and I found that when I, depending on how I offer the hair, because like I said, it's unprocessed. Right. I... I leave all the upsell to the stylist. Right. It's I want them to make the money because otherwise it's mm-hmm. not going to be worth it for mm-hmm. you to um, take the hair. For that, I could just sell to a beauty supply, have it processed. Right. It's one time use only. Mm-hmm. Right. And then you're done. Now, the stylist gets nothing out of it, which is probably why um, they may or may not give you the loving that you mm-hmm. need. Right. Because a good a, a good extensions or, you know, rocking good extensions mm-hmm. is a combination of the application and the hair. Absolutely. Yeah. And in the case of like uh, weaving and braiding and stuff, like Tiffany is <laughs> remarkable. Mm-hmm. Right. She makes it so you don't know mm-hmm. that the person actually has on any yes. extensions. Absolutely. Yes. Um, she does uh, flawless coloring mm-hmm. and the kind of application weave style that you're able to put a ponytail. Mm-hmm. How many places can yeah. you go where you're able to like True. lift it from the back? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And from the front. Like, I do my high buns. She yeah. she knows me. Yeah. Tiffany knows what I like and how I do. So mm-hmm. she makes it so I can put my hair up in a high mm-hmm. bun if I want to. You know, my tracks aren't showing, mm-hmm. but it's super light. Again, it's not heavy on the head, but I think that has to do with her application and also the mm-hmm. hair. The <clears> way also, just so you guys know, if you're out there and you're interested, she the way Tara has it. So as a stylist, being from a beauty, but in a different point, if I was a stylist, I'd more than likely want to carry her hair because she has it in display. Mm-hmm. So your client can literally, this is what I did. I literally went up, felt the hair, yep. mm-hmm. look, saw what it looked like. And then I worked with Tiffany and said, okay, this Tiffany already knows me, but still mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I'm willing to try something new. Mm-hmm. So let's kind of work it out. And we picked out the hair together. We ordered it. She called me. She goes, your hair's in. We made that appointment. Mm-hmm. It was Effortless. Yeah. Mm, you know, perfect. it was great. It was effortless. Once she put it in, I was like, I, girl, you couldn't get me out the mirror. I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh, she was styling yeah, 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 the profile. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, woo, <laughs> let yeah. I, I know. You, her. Know, you already I know. And then, uh, you already know. <laughs> mm-hmm. So then, um, then I told Tiffany, okay, I got the wavy, but maybe next time I want to mm-hmm. do a little bit more kinky curly. Like, it's mm-hmm. so much fun. I'm getting the curly one. Yeah, it's so yeah, much I'm fun. Gonna the and yeah, you're going to have fun. Yeah, the I'm care of it. Yes. I'm going to say this. I do yes. take care of my hair. Mm-hmm. That's just, I, I look, I can look a hot mess, but my hair always looks good. Mm-hmm. It's just, um, it's just something that I believe <laughs> that if your hair at least looks put together and neat, everything else, can, you can let that fly mm-hmm. by. But if you look good and your hair looks a mess, then that makes no sense mm-hmm. to me. Yeah. So I go get my hair done mm-hmm. all the time by Tiffany. I get it washed. I get it conditioned. I make sure I do myself and at home. Mm-hmm. Like I literally put yeah, it up. Yeah, you got to treat it. I got yeah. treated. I wrap it. I put it mm-hmm. up. I do all the things that I need to do. I mean, ladies. At the end of the day, here's the thing. We always want to do look good. We want to do things. But you do have to do your end. And yeah. if you have mm-hmm. good quality hair, because I've used other hair before, this is by far my favorite. Yay. That's why we have you here. Um, by far the favorite. I've had quite a few, you know, got into this new world of hair. But this is by far my favorite because it's easy. It's simple. It looks great. Um, I go out. People compliment me. I've had mm-hmm. guys be like, yo, hair. Oh, you mean this weave? I love shocking the shit out of me. <laughs> they're like you're telling me it's so yes it's extensions I don't care like yep. why do you tell I said because I'm a walking billboard for my girl and the hair yeah, so why go. not tell, tell it so 
Yes. With that said, um, you have Just an amazing, amazing product. Yes. So um, do we want to go into tea, tea time? time? Yes. You okay. want to start? You want me to start? You start. You start. All right. All right. It's, it's not going to hurt. Yeah. Go take a sip. <laughs> take a sip. Time. Yeah. Take a sip. Okay. First okay. question. Favorite guilty pleasure? Oh, romance novels. Hey, and it's read, not even guilty. Yeah, she, I gave her mine. She read mine. So I'm very excited. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited. I'm we got to talk. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm nervous now. <laughs> okay. Worst habit. Worst habit. Um, Needing information. Always. Okay. Okay. Always. In okay. all ways. Okay. Okay. <laughs> TV. Yeah. Tabloid. Yeah. <laughs> Huffington Post. I do uh, it all, yeah. and it annoys people. <laughs> <laughs> so you come with your yeah. information. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. I'm down for a discussion. <laughs> Favorite president, dead or alive? Favorite president, dead or alive? Well, that's easy. I'd have to say Barack Obama. Okay. I think because he had a combination of grace, humility, and sort of like um, street style mm-hmm. cool, mm-hmm. like. I love seeing him strut mm-hmm. as he's with going to the dad. podium yeah. Yeah. with his dad jeans. With his dad jeans. He made dad jeans sexy. I mean, I wish I wish his wife would get him some sevens, but really, <laughs> I can't expect too much. He hey, got girl, everything yeah. else. Just you a little know. something. Little something. She's yeah. trying to keep that to herself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep that one Exactly. Yes. Exactly. What you got for it? Uh, favorite superhero and why? Favorite superhero. Oh, okay. Um, favorite. Well, I don't know if she'd be considered a superhero, but she's um, a character that Disney co-opted. Um, and it's Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. the original mm-hmm. story by the, I don't know whether he's from Amsterdam mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. some one of the Nordic mm-hmm. places. Anyway, the real ending is that she does not choose mm-hmm. to give up mm-hmm. her tale. Mm-hmm. That means something to me. It means that she didn't have to compromise mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. in order to achieve her blessings. I mean, that's, Absolutely. Well, it's 2018, you know, yeah, with they're, they're changing that dynamic yeah. with little girls mm-hmm. and they're, what they're doing. Because I think they did that with that um, that Disney character, Merida, who they said they were going to marry her off. She was Irish. She's like, I don't want to get married. I don't want to do that. I want to be independent and I want to mm-hmm. do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. And she ended up doing what she wanted to do anyways. <laughs> so. By all means. Yeah, because I yeah. get the point I, of... Yeah, yeah. yeah, the whole point of it is mm-hmm. to be independent. And she, yeah, she figured, exactly. she's my favorite, too. She went out there and figured out the world. I saw the same thing. Why she need that man to save her? And I get it for back in the day mm-hmm. because yeah. women were chattel. So mm-hmm. right. we, we, we needed our men. Mm-hmm. But now women are in a position where... You don't need they don't have to. It's okay to need. It's mm-hmm. okay to want. It's not a requirement. Yep. There we go. So there we I go. I love that. Yeah. Uh, what was gonna say? Um, ooh, uh, celebrity crush. Who and why? Laz Alonzo. Uh-huh. I said that quickly. That yes, felt, you did. That right <laughs> off the tongue. <laughs> um, yes, Laz Alonzo, and primarily, well, <laughs> there are several reasons. Um, besides his physical appearance, and again, his sort of like. Even though I know he comes from, he hails from D.C., mm-hmm. but he seems like he has a little bit of a New York City swagger. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's the fact that he gets down with a good reality show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> An actor who can own up to the fact mm-hmm. that they it watch is. reality shows yeah. just like everybody else mm-hmm. and gets all into it. Mm-hmm. Even though we know a reality show is it's not real. Reality, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But can dissect yes. it like as if it's real. Yes. yes. Mm. That's a sexy. That's all that in a <laughs> bucket of chicken that I may not eat, but still. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so yeah. last question. Um, if there's any pl- where's, like, on your bucket list, where's the place that um, you would like to go and visit that you have not been, and why? I want to go to Australia, even though I know that they, um, that the indigenous people suffer from mm-hmm. severe uh, racism. I want to experience the land that looks like America, mm-hmm. but has a different accent, mm-hmm. has a different history, was colonized differently. Mm-hmm. I, like, I, I really want to experience it. I kind of experience it when I'm watching The Real Housewives of Melbourne. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, oh, I didn't get into that one. Ooh, I, could, I, didn't, I got into I, all of them. Potomac. 
Atlanta, yeah, Atlanta, 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 Atlanta yeah. is my favorite. Atlanta, I gotta, you know, Atlanta's Atlanta's the best. And, you know, Next week, I think it's OC, coming back. Yeah. I did OC, the original. OC, OC you know, yeah, you got to get up to Vicky. Yeah, Vicky, yeah, she's still in Holding it down. We saw Vicky at the award show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so Housewives. But anyway, we love a good house. We got to get back into that little scut. We have to have you come back for Hot Topics. Yeah. Oh, definitely. We'll have her back for Hot Topics because she is a... Library. <laughs> yeah. Big time. So tell everybody. Let's, let's go through the roller dance. Yes, exactly. <laughs> tell everybody, tell where they can find you. You can find Wef Bar products, not me specifically. Um, you can find Wef Bar at www.wefbar.com. It's, you can find clippings, uh, weave bundles, closures, wigs. We sell wigs, people. Mm-hmm. Um, tapins, uh, micro beaded wefts and strands. Everything you can imagine, we have it at wefbar.com. Awesome. So with that said, you, you'll you find everything. Um, follow her on Instagram. I do follow her on Instagram. At wefbar. At wefbar. She has some great stuff. Um, <laughs> So, again, if you are interested, find it. And if you don't have or your salon does not have Wef Bar um, hair, definitely look into it. Get them into it because it is really, really great hair. And it is it is affordable. Mm-hmm. It's totally higher. Affordable. Yes, it's affordable. Put it this way. I like to call it. It is high-end luxury at affordable pricing because that's yes. what you get. High-end yes. luxury at affordable pricing. Um, so, again, Tyra, thank you so much for coming Yay. in. We'll have all her information on our website and um, all y'all you know where to find us like usual Facebook Twitter um, Instagram Instagram SoundCloud <laughs> uh, you know in and Spreaker, everywhere Spreaker yeah. Spotify all of it <laughs> y'all right now so thanks for listening until thanks, next guys. time bye bye <laughs> thanks for listening take a little time to enjoy your brand of Moscato and tea with us every day subscribe rate and follow us on Instagram Twitter Facebook and MoscatoNT.com.